Hi guys, Mr. Waffles here. Before I get into this video, I really quickly want to say that I'm going to be participating in the Zombies World Championship this year. Basically, the idea is that you have one day left to register, link in the description down below. It's a $15 buy-in. You then get access to four different leaderboards where you can basically do some Zombies challenges. And if you come top of the leaderboards, you get flown out to LA and you can win up to two and a half grand for yourself and meet 12 YouTubers, Zombies YouTubers, and just have an awesome time. So if you want to enter, link below. Right. Today's video concerns the CallofDuty.com slash classified website and specifically a new code that we have found for it, 88103. It gives us a couple of new images and also a hidden reflected message that is super hard to read. Really excited to get into that part of the video, but first let's get through the actual cursive as they always give us in Marie's journal, okay? After weeks of careful questioning in regards to the Mittelberg discoveries, Rideau has finally approved a mission into Bavaria. My careful framing of Klaus's notes had nothing to do with this good news, apparently. As is so often the case, events beyond my control opened the door for opportunity. According to a source from our agent in La Résistance, the Nazis have begun shipping stolen art into the very same mines we have been discussing for the past two months. This was enough to convince the MFAA to take this risk, their first mission behind enemy lines. But the best news came at the very bottom of Rideau's letter. A simple request for an operations leader with experience running espionage, someone with extensive knowledge of the area, preferably an Asian fluent in the local dialect. The Major says that he has already forwarded a requested name to OSS. Name. Singular. Dare I hope? Marie. Wowee, man! This is obviously in the Journal of Marie Fisher. And I've just got to say, straight off the bat, it has to be said, there is already more storyline in World War II Zombies than there has been for the last six months in IW. Ripperoni, guys. <laughs> like, I mean, I'm just so happy. I'm so, so happy that they are actually bothering to write some kind of interesting dialogue and narrative for this. It's just so cool to see... This is essentially telling the tale, it seems, of Marie and Klaus split by the war, and then it seems like Marie is basically going to be working her way back into Mittelberg here, and getting involved with this operation that the Major is going to be recommending her for, and I just, oh, I'm just absolutely enthralled by what's going on. Seriously, the fact that she's going to be going on a mission into Bavaria, and Klaus is in Bavaria, and he discovers the Sword of Barbarossa, and they're probably going to clash there, or at least come into sort of confluence with one another there. And that isn't even the half of it, okay? Because we've got another note, okay? Which is uh, noted, Archaeological discoveries in Mittelberg, rubbing from a bas-relief found near Mittelberg graveyard, assumed to be brought in from another site, perhaps part of the chamber? Which sounds pretty interesting, okay? And then you've got this image down below, which looks like... A statue of Barbarossa, I'm assuming, our good old Frederick I, the Holy Roman Emperor, that's probably what we're seeing there, some sort of shrine to him, with what looks like a load of knights kind of kneeling down in the background as well, kind of in reverence of this figure in the middle of the room, and he's holding this big sword, which I'm assuming is the sword of Barbarossa, so that's quite a big deal, but it's on the next page where things get really, really cool, okay? Faust, Eina... Tragedy. So, Forst, or Faust, or however you want to pronounce it, is something that we have seen a fair amount, I would say, throughout Zombies history. It's been referenced in IW Zombies. It was originally referenced in Kino der Toten, I believe, in Black Ops 1. So, it's been in Treyarch Zombies as well. And now, it is here too. And there's a message. And what you might notice is that there are two messages. There's this page, and there's the inverse of this page that we can't quite make out, but we'll get to that in a moment, okay? First of all, I want to read through this first side. M. They've done horrible things here. Monstrous things. Straub is more twisted than you can imagine. So driven to bring about the final Reich that nothing else matters to him. He will stop at nothing, Marie. Our home is no longer our home. 
It is a horrible shell of what you once knew. Promise me that you will never return here. I want to stay and fight, but I'm scared. Straub is beginning to grow suspicious of me. It's almost as if the Nazis can smell my doubt. I need to escape Mittelberg. I pray that it is safer in Cambridge. But I fear that... And then it goes on to the next page, which is on the inverse of this page, which is really hard to read, but I have done some internet sleuthing. Can I get a like on the video for this, guys? I got out my graphics tablet and wrote out absolutely everything that I could see with regards to any scratches, indentations, pen marks, anything at all through the paper here, okay? And obviously flipped it as well and found the following. Okay, really, really excited about this. It's quite broken up because it's really, really hard to see, but I think I've done a decent job. Continuing on from what Klaus just said, because this is Klaus that's saying this, spoiler alert. I need to escape Mittelberg. I pray that it's safer in Cambridge, but I fear that soon we will all be witness to whatever horrors they are keeping hidden underneath the mountain. I don't know when I will be able to contact you again. If you do not hear anything, I hope you will pass along this message, maybe, as a cautionary tale. Now, it gets fairly broken up there, and that's because we're seeing text from the front side of the piece of paper, basically obscuring the text on the back side, so it's really difficult to figure out exactly what that says, but I'm pretty sure it's if you don't hear anything, I hope you'll pass along this message as a cautionary tale. He then says, and this is even more broken up, I have this fear or knowledge or something of arriving at the king's chamber or chassis or something, 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 hand, it looks like, and then with or something along those lines, you have to get me, the sun is shining or rising, the something is ever, and all is something, have something, the air, fin something, fur something, w something, k. So, clearly, that last paragraph is a bit of a mess. I'm gonna keep working on this after I've finished work, like finished making this video and posted the video and stuff, just so I can get a proper kind of translation, I guess, out for you guys because I feel like it needs to be done. And doing it with a tablet is definitely a lot easier than trying to do it by hand. Well, after all that, it actually turns out that Mr. The Dalek JD got this physical letter sent to him by Sledgehammer in a Jack in the Box, just like Noah got, and so we actually have the full message after all, so all my sleuthing was to no avail. Well, I mean, it was to partial avail because I got most of the message, but basically he says, I fear that soon we'll all be witness to whatever horrors they're keeping hidden underneath the mountain. If you don't hear anything, I hope you'll pass along my story as a cautionary tale. And then he says, I had this image of arriving at the King's Cross railway station, suitcase in hand with you there to greet me. The sun's shining, the war is over, and the allied forces have won. We are finally free. V-G-K. So that's what that message said. What I will say though is that it doesn't end there. Something that Sledgehammer have been hiding in the source code for this website ever since the, I think, third update was a basically troll image for people like myself who have been snooping around. And this time, I just wanted to bring some attention to the fact that Sledgehammer literally on their callofduty.com slash classified website are linking to an image of a fox peeing in a hole in a golf course. That's not a joke. It's actually linked on the website. Can I get a rip in the chat, please? Like, seriously, Sledgehammer? You've gone from giving us the most amazing story information to a fox having a whittle on a golf green? Bruh! <laughs> what is this? Aye, aye, aye. I just figured I would mention that because I tweeted at Sledgehammer basically saying, explain a bit earlier today. I had to mention it in the video so that it actually made sense for you guys. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you think of all this crazy business on the website. 
I've been Mr. Awful Waffles. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. If you have, drop a like on the video. That would be amazing. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.